ndi bai kuba sinkata mala na yemma asim na ya bana oke ke balo ka fo asim na ya dere ni boni na mma na ya dere ni bona mma na nchi na ya dike echi na echi ada agu agu aka no nyi boka ebo fa na azo boko esi dira na mma oro nya jinke e ma di ko sidi e ya bo ibo media ka isi wene otedo no nuko ozia do kempa eh basta maka yene mena na ba ibo ana ibo ana basta maka ntoro ndo odidanya mu ana bo eastern region ya ibo media e di ko sidi o wuri ya gere ne ai ge ti yere unu akwukwa basta maka nworo wa na azo ye Biaflam Prime Minister kuru ni ru akwukwo ma choka ka ibo mulu nze mozo ka ndi gba je bire je godi ni ya bife geni ya bife unu gesi aya unu atukwa alu ti ye uche nku ni funu chere basta maka ya bife wanna i woke bo simon epa kuna ni ru akwukwo odina ko si kum no over to you sir you see I'm of military they will come and they will die but before 2022 every single thing that happened in biafra land we get killed we go to the street we get killed who stay in the, in the road we get killed we go to the checkpoint you get killed every single thing you do as a biafra you get killed. They even arrest those who wear Biafra flag and stuff like that and molest them. Today, we are not going to the streets to protest. We don't need to protest. Protest can never give you freedom. Going to the street and start constituting nuisance can never give you freedom. And that's why immediately we came on board, we stopped everything street protest this rubbish nobody listening to you they only see you as a tout today we have a better way to protest a better way is arm your, yourself and when they come you fight each other who overpower each other become the winner and today we are overpowering them in every attempt they have made this overpowering will continue because we are just starting. From weekend going forward, from last weekend, the gate of hell has been opened on Nigeria. And I enjoyed, I, I employed all of you, the Biafra people in the homeland, to remain focused, security conditions. Make sure that as many as possible, you help people as many as possible to participate in the voting. We want to keep this terrorist Nigeria busy while the voting goes on. <laughs> they will see insecurity that they have created. Everywhere in Nigeria will be burning. That is what they have done to themselves. So, Biafra people, please enjoy the voting in the comforts of your shops, comfort of your zone, of your home, comfort of your school, your working place, anywhere you are in Biafra land, pick up your phone and vote. While you are doing that and laughing, things will be happening all over Nigeria. Thank you. And uh, Minister of uh, Communication and the uh, Deputy. You people can take it off from here. But before that, please, from this moment, nobody in the Biafra government cabinet, nobody broadcasting under the media team of the Biafra government will be allowed to appear in any space hosted by Harry from this moment. You are banned from appearing in any any space hosted by Harry. There is no time for gossip and distraction. Nobody will distract this movement. Not at this critical time. 
that people will gather on space and be gossiping about something that doesn't make anything. So anybody in the cabinet, if you are seen in a space being hosted by Harry, you are gone from the government. Thank you. Thank you, Obato Bi, our able, formidable, capable PM. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, my minister is here, sir. Please, can you also make him a co-host, sir? My information minister is here. Mazi, Sani. Mazi, Sani, you're welcome. And everyone, you are welcome. I'm going to be bringing you in right now. So please, uh, you can see the season that we are in. We are not... Um, entertaining gossip, no dull moments. This is a moment of action, action, action. So please, if you have any question for the Prime Minister, and uh, you know how busy our PM is right now, please, if you have any question, please, you just go ahead and uh, bring your question very, very quickly. As I have brought you all in, you need to raise your hands uh, to ask a question. Uh, before the hands are being, will be going up, I am curious to give the microphone to uh, this American flag, the brother here, Chema. Chema, unmute yourself if you have a question for my prime minister. Go ahead and ask. You have 60 seconds, please. Do that very quickly. You're welcome. Chema, please take the microphone. Yeah, um, good afternoon from everyone. You're welcome. I'm not hearing you. You need to unmute yourself. If you're not ready, I'll give the mic okay, to yeah. someone else. Can you just hear me now? Go ahead, okay, please. Yeah, um, yeah my, thank you very much. I, I salute your courage for everything you've been doing. I, I, I respect you. You said something very striking. You said um, a country where in their constitution it was intentional. They didn't include anything referendum. Because they had, they, had, they know one day a day like this will come. So they didn't include anything in the referendum in their constitution, so that people will not, everybody will become in that slave camp. Nobody will have any any option to to want to leave. And what do we do? Like you said, what do we do? We should us fold our hands, our arms, and stay in the union that we're not supposed to be in? We have to do like in your previous brokers, you said we have to make our own history. Other people have made their own history. We have to make our own history. Just like this, this referendum we are doing now. Russia conducted a referendum in the Donbass area, the, the region, the Russian-speaking region in Ukraine. They already conduct their own, conducted their own referendum over there. Since the UN is playing politics, they don't want to conduct a referendum in that, in that region so that the Russian-speaking um, Russians can leave Ukraine. They conducted their own referendum. So we have to create our own history our own part of history, which other people will learn from, which is what you're doing. So other, I'm just trying to rephrase what you've said, so that people that didn't listen to the broadcast, they will learn. Because people keep saying, the referendum is done in the constitution, why do you guys want to go ahead and do a refer referendum? We have to create our own history. And like you said, if they said they are not okay with our own referendum, then let the UN come and conduct their own supervised referendum. That is just all I want to contribute to our PM. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for, you understand it very, very well, very, very clear. And that is the message that every one of you here should carry and spread it and let it go to every cranny of the Africa, including those who believe in what we are doing and those who do not believe in what we're doing. This is the topic and this is the message for everybody to be broadcasting going forward until further notice. Nothing else. Nothing else. This is just it. Thank you. Thank you, my able PM. We have one mic, and that one mic is given to us to broadcast for our referendum. Until that happens, nothing else. Our PM, we understand that very, very well, and we are not going to do anything other than that. Please, I'm giving the microphone to my able information minister, Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Akbarawa. Is that not Akbarawa, Sonny? Who is it? Okay, yes, that's Akbarawa, Sonny. Mazi Akbarawa, Sonny, please take the microphone. Only one, or oh, I know be two. I salute my Prime Minister and uh, my Minister Vam 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 and all beer friends and uh, lovers of freedom gathered here today, and all the ministers of BRGIE, and most especially super thanks to my beer friend brothers and sisters, our mothers and fathers and grandfathers and children, 
that have made us proud. Your uh, record of um, topping the vote, even on the very first day, shows that um, you have really faced the brunt of one Nigeria in different ways, more than those that are enjoying in the diaspora. So I want to give a super good dose to all of you. And like my prime minister have said it all, we are going to make sure 80% of our media broadcasts, publications, and everything we do is on the referendum going forward. 80% of everything we do on the media, whether you're in the media team or not in the media team, whether you're loyal to the Biafran government or you're not loyal, as far as you're a Biafran, and you know that freedom is the cause that will liberate all of you. Please, do this. Key into what we are doing. Share the message and educate others and teach them how to vote. Help them to input their data in the system and let them cast their vote. Thank you so, so much. Now, a lot of us are here and we speak of Russia, we speak of Ukraine, and we speak of America. We speak of uh, China, we speak of uh, India, and then we post their own uh, ways and manners of freedom. But when you check our Twitter handles, we don't post anything about the Biafra which we come from. She might have just finished speak now. She might have, there is nothing on Biafra on your page. And many of us here are like that. But we are so imbibed with the freedom strategies of every other countries and we reckon on their template, then we use it to educate my prime minister and to educate uh, many other people and educate all Nigerians. But we don't post anything that has to do with the same freedom that we are talking about. Wear the uniform of Biafra on you, share everything, post it yourself, retweet the one the prime minister does. That is the only way you can be a real Biafran and to carry the identity. So that when you are being addressed, the people will see the uniform that you're wearing and will not go to be looking for your name. Let us start it inside house before we start teaching others. Don't only reckon on others and what they have done, but start doing your own and let it become your uniform to work. Thank you so much. Uh, my minister, Vam Vam Vam, you bring in them in then and when someone finishes speak, I will bring them down so that others can pick the mic. Please let us be concise and let us not prolong the Prime Minister is here to attend to all your questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, my able Minister of Information. Thank you so much. You are blessed. Please, uh, as you're raising your hands, you take the microphone 60 seconds and uh, make sure your question is the one that is very enlightening, that will uh, benefit everyone, and the Prime Minister will be delighted to answer your question. Hold on. I Prime Minister, to... please uh, co-host me again, because the network uh, took the co-host away from me. Pause me again, please. Mark, this family, you want to go ahead and want me to continue? No, Prime Minister should co host me if you can hear me because network took the co host away from me. Okay, while you wait for the co host, I go ahead and bring the man in. All right, uh, please, uh, Truth TV, Truth TV, please take the microphone 60 seconds, please. Good evening, fellow Biafrans all over the world. Good evening, my PM. This is the first time I'm speaking on a platform that you are one-on-one. -on -one. If I'm not mistaken, or have I spoken before, this is the first time. I greet you, and I must encourage you. The battle that you are in is not an easy battle. I the battle of life and death. The battle of Biafra is the battle of life and death. Too many of us do not understand. Many people are in Europe, are in uh, South Africa, are in any developed country telling you, oh, how do you want to fight for Biafra? Are you taking it the violent way? Oh, we don't want violence. But they are in a country which was achieved by violence. Too many of them gossiping, talking rubbish, especially that mad woman that I saw the other time talking rubbish. They are against you. Oh! 
You, the way we are discussing, are you going to distribute food? Ask that mad woman how much, how many food, how many quantity of food was distributed. What happened did you, did you lose you? during the time that I okay. your network is fluctuating for their own independence? Please uh, bring some bring somebody who can make a uh, who can talk without uh, breaking oh, please. Yeah, your network is fluctuating, uh, Marzi. Yeah, position yourself well, and uh, we're going to get you back. Thank you very much. Okay, I think I'm coming out loud and clear. No, your network is the uh, people uh, in South uh, Africa are deep out talking about oh your network is fluctuating. Please, I need to sorry, Pierre. Please go out and come back again. Let your network is fluctuating. Uh, please, uh, I'm giving you the microphone. Uh, Claire Deems, Claire Deems, take the microphone, please, and uh, 60 seconds, please. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Van Van Van. You're welcome. Hello, Prime Minister Simonette Pangjoku. Um, you said this evening that um, um, we're no longer um, in the era where we come out and hold our flag and the country which we say we belong to, we mow us down to death. They will kill us. And um, we don't do that. We be our friends. We've learned our lesson. We know how to handle them. We no longer do that. And that is a good thing that we've done. But my question now is, um, when we now look at um, the situation of, I'm hoping and I'm praying that since we've stopped um, coming out in um, uh, um, to protest, I'm hoping that same scenario will happen to our brothers and sisters that one day their goods, their homes that is being burnt, especially in Lagos, where their businesses are burnt down, and their hope, some people, their home, and uh, they've, they've, they are left with nothing, which has resulted in some people's bad, they've got um, health, uh, bad health to look after, and they've got nothing left. I'm hoping, like how you've said, that we don't we no longer do that and anybody who comes to to kill us we will kill them back i'm hoping that um the same thing will happen to to the to our brothers and sisters that their businesses are being lost every day i want you to make a comment about that thank you thank you very much uh we have been calling them to return back home there is no way uh at this point of course uh, the Afrika land, uh, they are trying to make it uh, unsafe for our people. But the Afrika land remains the safest place now. That is a fact. We have only one security challenges in Biafra, which is the government sponsored insecurity being orchestrated by the military, by the terrorist army, police, and uh, custom, immigration, and all that. Apart from that, we do not have any non-state actor in security from anywhere in the world, like you have it in other parts of Nigeria. That's one. Number two is that our people, that their businesses are being destroyed, we warn them about this. And you know, this is the first time. And the uh, if you were the quick and the Afrom Prime Minister Kunani Rapo, Bastamaka, Moreover, and vote Kalato, if you would put Makaya beef, drop or a year on the commercial bureau. As the Gibby Abutelia of Eastern News twenty four case, we know Terun was here, the camp, Dano Numun, the Mugan Commission, and the by Darun Linen, Yabuka Ibo Media. I see. When I would take a little posia do camper. The Kaisi Kununqua and the Kaisi Nabambo, I would eke in a new update. Be a Bastama Kiffen Mena and Ibo Bay and the Mudo in Kanazo. Oh, Yabunqua, 
I put on a night and name is here. I was at the key be a bow. You watch a yak kita in the neighbor cobia from Prime Minister. Go get so cool, no dinky. And to cut a morgue. Carly will detail in here. Macoke a nice name is he. What a bear what a bass lion on. But a babblous net president, a babble vice president, nothing, nothing. And the new moon didn't even make a squano, Umuna is so gonna go over and bar. Maco will give you a jemmy this year, a drozzy, a small guinea name, Messi, or the carlo. A rat was the email. Make good in the cobble city. Ke mere jiji de one night woke up ma zina ni kanu na kboro ako makandi ibo kini kiyo jo mele makos na ni ibo gadi makos na egadi na egadi kechi na chada agu agu oli ose jiji de jo woga ajuwa kini ke jiji de ma zina ni kanu ako makos na ibo yadi because to the kibwa bichi tere ifa bo ibo media aina asu no nu bai ono nu bai kai na asu so because bu ne da nu ibo ibo ewe na ge. Oh no, no, by a guy, Jacob, your name, Eba. Kago, what near any could be for? Only open you were. Keep on in the middle. What's in the yan name? Bumbi, Bumbibo, a beer and a Simon, a pinier. I have Boba Yamba. Came a bit into movement. I could look more than the canoe could be for a movie before you there. They will never give you that president, that seat. I could do no no pit to be winning, Maninia. Guinea can't say abo. Mba! Ibo mana nife. Mako ok is in a kuzoku, or key figure and a sine mezzi. Open it ball over gimitin. To call over gone, jaw a gow jaw. K beku. No bodabon and jidia. I'll drink to cone open a bony bonega monte. Nedwakwa. Jaw where. And did you to get a beef? Isaiah, I'm going to come. No, no. I have Ibu Media. Daru no money.